Hello dear viewers, Assalamualaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Reza Ulhaq from Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in today's most of the industries are using different types and branded DCS system. Hanual DCS is one of them. Today's in my video I will show how can we make a control module CM oblique transmitter value display programmer logic in Hanuel DCS system controller is C300 before start my video I tell you that in my previous video I shall had shown that how to insert activate monitor of C300 controller and input output card also I have show that another video is how to create a asset or parent asset in Hanuel DCS system if you miss my video you can find a link in the video description from that you can see this video so let's start my today's video first we open the VMR software this software is used for the for making the logic program in the Hanuel DCS system so go to the configuration studio this is the logic development software by using this configuration studio we have a make a logic program as we want to know a control module program so first we connect the server point you see here is server showing to select server and press the connect button then then the our configuration studio software will be connected to the virtual server then go to the control strategy control strategy then go to the configuration process control strategy here we can make the logic program of the control module or any logic program can we use by use this software so we are connecting this you see left corner side is showing the control module e control builder it is a control builder here we want to make the logic program that control module so first we select the here two types of uh, is, uh, two types of controller is available we are using the test mode in my previous video I have shown the how can we upload is how can we active or insert or the IO, IO card insert all the video are available in my video description box so you can uh, see from his here how can we active the insert or the IO card insert IO card active you can see this from this here so dear friends let's go to start our today's video from first we select the controller we select controller then go to the file here you go to new here you can see control module that means we want to display the transmitter value that is coming from the field so we have made to a control module program so select control module then this is the interface will become in the middle position you double click then this interface will open here is the tag name that means the transmitter whose value I want to display in the DCS system so we make this the tag name is here we put the tag name you can put your as per your desire or as, well as per your design so put and TT1001 I put the tag name of this transmitter that we want to display this value it is a temperature transmitter so tag name and item name you can put the same then you can put a description that we want to identify the of this temperature transmitter easily so we can say V909 temperature temperature transmitter ok then you see the engineering unit the, it is the temperature transmitter so the unit must be degree or Fahrenheit you can define as per your design or requirement I put the degree then you go to here the most important parameter setting is the parent asset if you don't select this parent asset you cannot be load the uh, load this program to the server so first to select the go to the in the three dotted click then the, you see the all the parent asset that you have already configure in my uh, previous video I have shown how can we make a parent asset or asset in a annual DCS system if you cannot understand 
uh, how can make a paint asset then you can see this video here many many paint asset is available you can select any one of problem it is select ammonia and press ok you see paint asset select is completed then the other parameter that are showing in this uh, block many many option is available all are put in the default mode and then press ok you see press ok in the unassigned so no our tag is available so it is close or save it close yes then you can see it is the new tag that we that the new control module but control module program that we have inserted so double click on the program then now we have to be select the input input output card that we want to the connect it to the field instrument so see the IO link it is the analog input so I see the IO link one here you see the different types uh, two types of analog card are available one is the redundant and one is the non redundant and one redundant if you think that it is an important tag then you can put in the redundant module so think that it is our important uh, tag so we can select the redundant module you can also go there and double click it is the we want to use the channel number one so just press and release you can see the card number is a analog hard redundant and we have used the channel number one and the after insertion you double click on this channel one then here you can interface will open and here some parameter have, have to be configured it is the you can here you just see the name that is the we can put the tag number that we want to display the transmitter value this tag number you can put is here our tag number is 01TT1001 put this one and description you can say temperature transmitter you can put this one ok then you go to the configuration option in the configuration option is the it is the type of information is sensor type it is put as a default one the channel PV range it is channel PV range that is channel PV range that means the it is the channel 1 channel 2 or channel 3 it is showing that is the analog input card so in all the parameter are put in the default mode here is a PV source option it is PV source always always only auto mode if you put not only auto mode then you, can, you cannot be get the value in there automatically so it is put all the parameter that are input in the default setting then press ok that means you see our block is renamed it is 01 tt 1001 is rename is completed now we can want to the make the scaling factor that we want to display it is the coming uh, in, in the block you see the range is 0 to 100 but in our DCS or the transmitter that we want to display our value in the DCS system it is range to 0 to 500 so we have to be select another block is data acquisition block it is a scaling, scaling block another new scaling one so press and release you see it is inserted now double click on this um, transmitter uh, block and here you can put the name same as name you can put this here 01 it is name is same 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 it is the same the DA CA which are data block system ok you can put the description temperature transmitter you can put this you see then it is engineering you can put this engineering here to degree this temperature so we put degree ok then you see PV source must be only auto mode in the PV high range we have said that high range is 0 to 500 so if it is 0 to 500 in the PV extended high range it is the series when it is on 100 it is showing that 100.25 you can press in the 500 then 500 2.5 and in the alarm section you can put the alarm in this value that means uh, it is a different types of priority showing in the priority show journal low high urgent journal is not the only uh, uh, no alarm uh, low alarm high alarm urgent alarm you can send all this one you see if the trip point is not active but first you have to set the PV high range that you will be active you so so you select the urgent you can see you can put the value 
the high value is you can put the 450 four five hundred it is our range is fifty five hundred so we can uh, press the high value is four fifty hundred then you see it is active then you can say uh, you can see it is the high range and it is in the urgent range and here you can put the value you see four fifty five you can put an alarm value then when the our source value our temperature will be goes to the 495 uh, then that will trip if you want to make a trip value so you can change it as per requirement you can select this one you can say also the low value high value you can also see set this one as per your requirement you see all other parameters are put in the default mode then press the ok you see our block is the already configured now we can connect this one how can you connect you see you can double click here and select in this one and press ok you see it's connected ok that means uh, our display program that we want to value, we want to display the value in the our station or our in the SMI it is completed now I active how can we active this one so go to save button save this one you see channel one is uses so we cross it then we go to the, uh, the tag number first you select this one and go to the assign here you can see the unassign all are un so unassign only you can see this one are unassign so we select this one and who is who is uh, i have the two controller c300 ehc test we want to select the test so select test and select the assign you see here unsn is gone and the here is the uh, transmitter is available here you can we found this one the, uh, wh which one is the uh, already we assigned you can find this here so assign is completed so close it and go to our the here you see this is our the assigned transmitter that we already assigned you see not active it is assigned but not active so left hand side is a dotted line so select this one project one go to here select go to download is ok you see server load is complete that means our transmitter is successfully downloaded to the, uh, the our tag number this control module is a program is it successfully downloaded to the server you can go the monitor modding and here you can see you see this is the our control module program and it is the active so double click and open it is active or not you see this is the active in this here you show it is does not showing in value because our uh, transmitter does not that means our terminal block that means the our analog input card not connected to the our the live value or the live transmitter if the our transmitter is directly connected to this is this analog input card this is input card channel one you see this one we use this is the channel one you see it is connected then you can really work in properly so first i show it is work this value is working or not you go to the here i want to force put the force value so we go to configure and here you get the all mode go to the man mode and then I can put the value you see suppose our the transmitter value is coming from the transmitter you see you see here you can put uh, suppose transmitter is sending 20, 50 you can see in the output go to 50 why you go here j to high range dear friend here you see we putting the value is 50 percent our range is the 0 to 500 but it is don't working you see i am the putting the 50 it is going to the 50 you see i am putting the value is 50 but it is going to the 50 but it's our range is uh, 0 to 500 no it, this that the dsa value is not working what's the reason i show you why it is not the showing the uh, problem what the where, where is the problem you see you go to the block in here you see pv tracking not configured you see linear square root nothing none is tracking so it is not working so 
first we close this one and uh, we go to the our project mode and we change it and down, download this again you go the block and you show the linear then you press ok then you save yes select you see it is showing in the uh, check marks that means it not loaded fully loaded so we select this one and go to download you see we download this TT value that means the our control module is download to the server you see server load is completed and go to the monitor option and again you open this our control module you see now we change the configuration it is downloaded always change so our transmitter is not directly connected so we put the force value so we change it as manual mode and select this one and put the value is 20 you see and our it is a 100 that means it is working you see if we put the 50 percent then the our as per our range it is will be the 250 250 you see you see 250 that means it is working that means our uh, your, uh, our mistake was where this here is a pv tracking we before we not uh, tracking this one so it is not working so dear friend you see i have show you my program but i will show my video how can we make a display value or control module program in Honeywell DCS system so I tell you if you like my video please subscribe my channel if you already subscribe thank you also like comment and share my video to your friends or others that they can learn easily so subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share Thanks for watching.